Hello and welcome to the Alton Towers Resort. I'm here to check out the summer, a fun event that's going on all throughout the summer holidays. My name's Matt, this is the Coaster Giant channel and here's what's coming up in today's vlog. So I don't know if I've been sleeping on this Summit of Fun event, but I've heard nothing about it until literally yesterday when it was all over Twitter on socials. But it looks like they've got loads of character actors, they've got things happening on the stage throughout the day and loads of new shows in CBeebies as well. So yeah, there's quite a lot going on. So first impressions are good. They've got a little stage set up at the bottom of Tower Street. There's loads of roaming, entertainment, welcoming all the guests is a nice vibe. They've got all the bunting out. Great start to the day. Just wish the summer's out. So it's Sunday the 23rd of July. I'm here with Rich, Carl. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm all good. Alicia's here as well. Just had her first ever ride on the Smiler. And you enjoyed it? Heard it here first. You alright, Rich? Good ride, Yeah, we got a front row, so always good to get a front row first. So yeah, it's Sunday. Highly recommend it. Coming on a Sunday because it's now school holiday season and it tends to be the quietest day of the week. And we just literally got in the queue at 10 past 10 for Smiler and we were on it by half past, so short queues already. So weird heading straight there instead of Nemesis. Every time I come, even though I've had a few visits now, it just doesn't feel right. I love going straight to Nemesis, usually when I get here. So yeah, we had a good start to the day. We saw all the characters out on Tower Street, we saw a little dancing show, and then headed straight over to the Smiler. It's a good start. Now we're heading on to Oblivion. Apologies about my hair, by the way. We're having terrible weather here in the UK at the minute. Um, torrential rain all day yesterday. So I was like, do you know what? I'm not going to bother straightening my hair. And it's pretty long at the minute and the smiler has just turned it into a bird's nest. So yeah, it's only going to get worse as the day goes on. So we did Oblivion, 20 minute wait again. So operations are good so far today. And Oblivion's the best ride in the park, in my opinion, whilst Nemesis is shut. Can't beat that first Ooh. drop. Why, what are you saying? Ooh. After Smiler, it's my Smiler. Yeah. Smiler's good but overhyped, in my opinion. Yeah, Oblivion's best. You can't beat that best drop. That first drop is the best drop in the UK. What? On Oblivion? Bliv best first drop in the UK. Name a better one. Big one? Oh no, that's second drop in it. No, it's first. <laughs> Got a little oh, one out of the station. <laughs> Oblivion wins. <laughs> <laughs> right, it isn't too busy at all. The longest queue today at the minute is 40 minutes. So we're going to head towards the rapids because a little bird told us, literally to her, that um, the waterfalls are back on. So we're going to go and check them out. So this is cool, just on the side of the lake before the bridge. Got a little seating area, nice little white picket fence. And they've got Pims and Prosecco and Speciality Coffee and Dairy Ice Cream in these nice little units. So if the sun was out when it was blistering hot, it would be a well nice place to chill out. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Multi whip and some days. Ready for a whip? Yeah, 
their back. Right, the sun's come out for the rapids. So it actually got wet on the rapids at Towers. And like everyone's coming off wet. Not wet, just like sprayed on my back at one point, but then the waterfalls will just add to it so much. I'm so glad they're back. Can't remember the last time I did this with the waterfalls on. Um, it just makes it a lot more fun. It felt like it was faster. I don't know if that was just my imagination. But um, yeah, got a good splash. And this is weird. So have you ever seen the plugs in the bottom of the boats? I've never paid any attention to them, but there was one like right between my legs. And uh, the guys mentioned that water sprays up through it and I've never ever in all my years of going on rapids noticed that, ever. Um, so I thought they were joking. And then just after the waterfalls, got a massive squirt from the bottom of the boat through the plug hole, straight up and all over my legs. Yeah, I've never noticed, have you noticed that before? Tell me in the comments below if you've ever noticed that because that is not a thing that I knew ever happened. But I'll be watching for plugs in the future. Right, I think we're gonna head over now, walk past Curse, see if that's open yet because it's been shut so far today, um, and then head over to Subterra because that's only been on a 10 minute wait. Okay, it's time to head on Subterra. We've not done this since the reopening of it um, on the first weekend. Rich has never done it before, ever, even before when it was open. Absolutely not. So it's always fun doing it with someone that's not done it before. So Curse has had quite a lot of downtime this morning, but it's just reopened. The queue's actually quite big, it's 15 minutes um, estimated time at the minute. But yeah, it'd be good to get back on this, see if there's any new effects. I'll let you know when I get off. So we've just done Subterra followed by Curse. Both had really good run-throughs actually, probably the best run-through I've ever had on Curse. It's weird trying to vlog with Carl around and he's not interrupting me at all. Never done it once today. We don't, we don't want it, we don't want it. It's nice and chill today. So we've got a great run-through on Curse, probably the best one I've ever had. Everything was triggering at the right time. The only thing I wish is that the cars were a little bit more separated. So when you go through the Trumbull Tunnel, you actually just get the clock spinning in front of you rather than the back of another car. That's the only thing I'd say to improve it, but probably got more of a storyline on that than I've ever had before, so the audio was really good too. I did try to win a t-shirt as well from a grabber machine. If you want to see how that went, check out the little Nemesis construction of Davis already on the channel. So we were just in time to capture some of the entertainment on the lawn on the main show. There's lots of singing and dancing. We just missed uh, Kylie Padam as we were walking over the field, which I was going about. And um, we got some food as well, so we went to the Burger Kitchen. So it's 50, well, £14.75, but £11.80 after discount. And I've gone for a Cronut Burger in this very elaborate box. Got to admit, since Aramax took over, I've not been a big fan of the food here, but I'm going to give this a go. We've got a burger, large fries, and a drink. For eleven pound eight to be discount. So again, there's a really nice vibe down on the lawns. They've got some benches down here, right next to the lake. Some over near the trees, and around the main stage, they've got the double decker bar back and a Cornish pasty outlet and a little Pim's van as well so you can get something to eat get a drink and watch the entertainment on the stage um, each show lasts for 45 minutes which is quite long they've got some decent music on there and I think it's on every couple of hours so there's plenty of chance to get on the lawn to get a pint and watch the show during your stay We've made our way down to the Dock Forest, which means it's time for 13, followed by Rita. Nice little gentle rise after our burgers. Yeah. 
So we've had a very interesting ride on Wicker Man. Only a 20 minute queue, which is amazing for middle of the day. Actually, middle of the afternoon. Um, but no, we went in the pre-show. All the lights went off. All the audio started playing, but we got no show. There was no light or anything. Just totally pitch black the whole time. So that was weird. Where yeah, good ride on Wicker Man, flying around the track. And we've just done spin ball. All four of us were on one car. We got some good spins, but it was quite rough. Like, felt like you kept going over joints on the track and it was really shaking you. Yeah? Never had that on that before. Maybe it's just one car that's got a bit of an issue. But, um, yeah, I'm surprised at how rough that felt. It was a bit weird. Right, we're heading to the Smiler now. It's been down for a little while. It's just reopened and it's posted at a 10 minute wait. So, kind of rushing over that direction. So I mentioned at the start of the vlog, I've never heard anything about summertime fun. And just looking at the board for um, the year of events, and it's definitely not on there either. So we've come to the end of our day here at Alton Towers, checking out the summertime fun event, which has been advertised nowhere, but exists. Um, it feels a little bit like they've just pulled it out of a hat, really. Um, all quite last minute, quickly put up some bunting, get a stage show together. Um, the show was good, everything was everything was good. Um, but yeah, there's just been no advertising and yeah, a bit strange. I think if I was to compare this to the likes of Drayton Manor summer events, then Drayton Manor are winning for me personally. Um, I think there's just more atmosphere, the drinks were flowing, and the music was better, the acts were better as well because they've got actual acts coming into the park and performing. But no, it's been a good day, got on loads of rides. If you're coming in the school holidays, highly recommend doing a Sunday. They're so much quieter than weekdays and Saturdays. We've got on all the coasters today that we wanted to get on. We've done Smiler twice. We've just had the best ride I've ever had on the Smiler. I've got front row, the fastest I've, oh, black ice cream on the floor. Um, yeah, fastest I've ever known the Smiler go. It was so good. Um, by far the best ride I've ever had. I'm really impressed with that. General operations around the park were spot on um, some of the queues were quite long but they were whipping through them um, so credit where credit's due to all the ride operatives today so yeah it's been a good day you enjoyed it rich it's been fun yeah that last ride on smiler was, smiler decent, was definitely wasn't it? the best i've had on it um yeah i wouldn't do some terror again though <laughs> <Final comment. laughs> wasn't a fan <laughs> Right, it's time to head home. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a like and all that stuff, and I will see you in the next one.